In the US, the former vice president of the United States, Mike Pence, will announce he is running for the presidency in 2024 at an event next week. Pence was vice president under Donald Trump, of course, from 2016 to 2020. Let's speak to our US correspondent in Washington, D.C., for us this evening, Mark Stone. And, and Mark, um, uh, a traditionally uh, very conservative uh, Mike Pence, and that's why he's picking to make the announcement in Iowa? Uh, yes, uh, and to be clear, it's, it's no surprise at all that he is um, uh, throwing his hat in the ring. He has been um, uh, given so many hints over the course of the past 18 months or so that, that he would be a presidential candidate, um, a Republican candidate for the White House. Uh, and so he is. That announcement um, uh, will formally come on uh, next Wednesday, the 7th of June, in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, where uh, he will um, become yet another uh, Republican uh, to join what is now a growing field. Donald Trump, of course, the clear favourite uh, to be the Republican candidate, followed by Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Chris Christie, Tim Scott, uh, Asa Hutchinson. Uh, all, all of these figures uh, and a few others have now said that they uh, want to be uh, the Republican nominee for president. Of course, the problem that all of them have got, um, with the exception of Donald Trump, is how to beat him. He is the clear favourite. Um, how do they uh, appeal to his base, which remains very, very loyal, very, very strong? 30 percent or so uh, of the um, uh, of the party uh, support him. Uh, sorry, 30 percent of the electorate uh, support him, uh, according to polls. So how do others appeal to that base uh, without alienating uh, them? Um, it's clear that uh, once upon a time, Mike Pence and Donald Trump clearly had a very close relationship. It fell out spectacularly um, uh, over the course of the January the 6th protests when uh, uh, Vice President uh, Pence did go to the Capitol um, to, um, uh, to effectively hand over power uh, to the new administration against the wishes of Donald Trump. That's where their relationship fell out. But it's interesting that Pence has not overtly or, or explicitly criticized the former President Trump since then. Uh, he's going to have to start doing that if he wants to, uh, to try and raise his profile as, the, as one of the Republican Party candidates for president.